Hey guys, Luke here, and this is episode 34, or episode 2 of season 3, and uh, we're going to jump into the very first round of the Super League season. Now, you might be thinking, how can this be the, the, the second episode of the third season if this is the first round? Well, go back and watch uh, the episode previous. You see the World Cup Challenge. Um, I won't spoil how, um, how it went down, but we took a Manly. Um, and we go straight from Manly to another top side here. And we're taking on the Wigan Warriors. So we throw an intercept there. Just This was a tale of a game where we had a lot of blind chances here. We see Pritchard going close there. But we couldn't quite uh, get the ball over the line, whether it be from uh, just getting tackled or throwing a shitty pass, stuff like that. We hear Denny Bruff here going close again and dropping the ball. So at this stage, we'll create another chances, but couldn't get over the line once again, like I said. And then Hodgson here, he uh, gets tackled over the goal line. So it just goes into what I've been saying is we had a lot of chances, but we couldn't capitalize on it. But you'd have to say we were the better side. If you look at the completions, not that great, but the time of possession is the main stat that I would look at here because um, we've had a lot more runs. But you see here, they've had pretty much one tr um, one chance and they go in and score. So that was quite frustrating. But here, Josh Charnley, a former Wigan Warrior, he goes through. He busts, well, he busts through a tackle and, um, you know, we're playing quite well here. There was some, in there was an injury to Moses Mbai and you're going to find that this is a um, a regular occurrence for the first year rounds. Um, and you'll find Greg Bird in the five-out role quite a number of times here. But Frank Pritchard uh, finds Ryan Hall, takes it around the fullback. Not quite enough to uh, beat him, but enough to get an offload away, and we pick up our first points of the season. Um, quite annoying that we um, couldn't score more tries in the first half, but uh, we picked up our second try there, and it looks like we're set to um, go on a nice little run here. So we pretty much seal the game. I mean, it's not 100%, but um, Greg Bird slot, slots a field goal out from like 30, 30 metres or so, and then just to rub insult into the wound, uh, we throw an intercept. Well, I don't know why I said that. Um, I was probably going on the lines that we're going to score, but we throw an intercept, he does get tackled, but we will find out later that um, it didn't really matter here. We see Patrick going through the line here. He gets tackled. I was going to look looking for a kick there, just like a panic kick, but not to worry. It's Charlie went and scored. That's the try that I was thinking was going to be uh, just a little bit earlier. Um, and we pick up a really nice win there. As you all know, Wigan, uh, well, Super League fans, or well, I guess people in general know that Wigan are one of the top sides. Um, you look at their completions, still not that great, but um, in saying that, we had the same amount of completions as Wigan, so not too bad. So here's all the other results of round one, and we're going to take on the Catalans Dragons. Um, it's their home game. You look at their side there, Brent Webb um, and Brent Fitch, Probably their two best players, I'd say. Also, we've got Remy Casti, who's at the Roosters. So, for any NRL viewers, um, that might be um, how you know that dude. Uh, obviously, Brent Finch um, is retired, and I think Brent Webb is retiring in real life this season, too. But here, pretty early on, 20 minutes in or so, um, we had a nice little ball there to McCallum, who eventually found its way out the Charmley. And we're going to attack that right-hand side again here. Go through Bruff, who finds Jewett, and Jewett goes in the corner, and he scores. But just a minute later, I'm not sure how they got the ball exactly, but they end up back with it. And they throw an intercept there, which is a four pass, but didn't get picked up for some reason. And then we drop the ball just to rub salt to the wound. Just a really shitty try to give up, and it felt so undeserved too. But for the most part, not too much um, not too much was going on here. See, our completions are quite good, 9 from 11. Theirs was better, but um, that doesn't say much. But then we go and start the half like this. I mean, it wasn't exactly the start of the half, but one of our first sets, probably second set, throw an intercept, um, which shouldn't have been an intercept, but it was, and we got to deal with those things. And then we can see another one. We do score, but it was too little too late, as Catalans pick up a win. And it's a really shitty way to start the season. Um... Moses and I did get hurt in the second game again. So there is a question mark over him whether he's up to the standard um, to play the season at 5-8. It, um, it is quite disappointing to lose Rangie Chase, but we've got to deal with those things. So um, here's the results from the previous game, and we're going to see the latter for the very first time, and I see Umbai's out for two weeks. Uh, but Richard Owen is back, so we might slide him into 5-8, but we'll have to wait and see. So here's the ladder, not too much happening, but like I say, thanks for watching guys, and if you enjoyed it, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.
channel for more and follow me on Twitter at MrLuke on YouTube or on YT I should say. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Bye.